The Atlas 350MH is a material handling machine and depending on its configuration it weighs between 33 and 36 tonnes. This model by Conrad comes in an Atlas branded box but there's no information about the real machine. In fact the box is just a sleeve which encloses two expanded polystyrene trays and when we lift the lid the model's sitting nicely inside. Well it's time for the model to wake up so let's get it out of the box. And it's largely complete except for there's a small bag and that just contains two plastic mirrors which have to be fitted. There's no instructions for the fitting of the door mirrors but the first one is easy enough it just goes on the grab rail outside the cab. The second mirror is a little bit trickier because it's not quite so obvious where it fits. But if you look closely there's a tiny little upstand and the mirror just fits onto that. But be careful though because it's easy to knock off. Underneath there's some decent detailing with the transmission system modelled. The tyres have a decent tread pattern and they're mounted on small detailed wheels. The outrigger beams and pads are plastic and the pads are separately pinned. But on the real machine the pads and beams are usually one piece. The cab is also plastic but with some decent detailing and the windows have a dark tint. The mirrors are somewhat simple as they don't have silvered surfaces. The cable band on the elevating mechanism is made of soft plastic. The body casting is fairly simple but it's enhanced by painted panel handles and some good graphics. On top of the body there are some nicely textured surfaces. And a strong point of the detailing is the hydraulics with plastic hoses and silver coloured pipes. Most of the connections on the model are made with small brass rivets which don't look too bad but some painted ones would have been better. The orange peel grab is a nice looking part with hoses running to it. And although it's hard to tell it is in fact all plastic. Let's mosey on out to the cranes etc test track and the big atlas rolls along very well. And Conrad has done quite a good job with the modelling of the axles because each of the wheel sets turns independently. And there's dual functionality on the steering axle, it oscillates up and down. And it can also be set to steer to a good angle. If you set the steering to the hardest lock then it poses well but won't quite push along because the tyres get fouled. But move them in a touch and the model can be made to roll along in a curve very well. Of course this machine has a big boom and stick so for stability there are some outriggers. And they work on the model just by being pulled down, they're a bit stiff but that's a good thing because they'll hold a pose. And just to prove it, here is the model being held up, wheels free. We'll now instruct the giant hand to rotate the model and it's perfectly smooth without any rocking of the body. If you're the sort of person that likes to look over a neighbour's fence, you'll appreciate the elevating cab on this machine. The mechanism is modelled well and it will hold any pose that's set. Now it's boom time and we can see how the boom and stick perform. Firstly the boom can be posed vertical and the stick can be closed right up to the cab. At the other extreme if you want to go large you can go for the maximum extended reach. Time now to take a backwards step so let's select reverse and go backwards a little. And that lets us stretch out the boom and stick even more. The good thing is that at full stretch the model is not overbalancing. The other test for a model like this is to see if it will fold up small so it can be posed as a transport load on a suitable truck. Well the answer is that Conrad has done a good job modelling the boom and stick hydraulics but unfortunately the grab at the end is not removable so it can't really be posed properly. While we're grabbed by that talk about the grab let's grab a moment to look at the grab. On the review model it didn't swing freely in one direction probably because the connection's a bit tight but it's fine in the other direction. In addition the grab rotates fully and it also opens and closes with a realistic movement. We'll now give the 350MH a genuine imitation real life test. And here it is loading up old pallets into a tipper truck. The special finger actuated hydraulics on the grab release the load. And then the operator turns expertly to go and pick up some more pallets. Don't you just marvel at the skill of these cranes etc operators. Overall this is a nice material handling model from Conrad. There's some nice touches of detailing and the functionality is very good. And it just would have been nicer if the grab had been removable. However it's an impressive looking model and it's highly recommended.